All right, guys, so today we're doing brisket and brats. We're going to smoke it, but we're going to treat it first with some sweet heat. So come on close. I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, so let's grab this can here. We're going to dump it in. This is a can of pineapple juice. We pulled all the chunks out because... We don't need the chunks. So I asked my lovely wife what kind of heat she wants, and she chose chipotle chilies. So we're going to put chipotle powder in with this pineapple juice. So we have a sweet heat, and we're going to taste it before we use it on our meat. Okay, so I know a lot of you don't like cutting brisket in half, but I did it for a reason. Because this is going to be way, it's like cooking a fish. The tail part gets cooked because it's real thin. It gets cooked really... I don't want that to be overcooked. So I'm going to monitor them separately with probes. So we've got a thick piece of brisket and we've got a thin piece of brisket. All right? Okay, so we're now going to inject... Get it in there. And then... There you go. Now, if you've never marinated with pineapple juice, pineapple juice or pineapples break down the proteins in the meat and it is a great tenderizer. So we put the chipotle powder with the pineapple juice in each of the meats and then we wrap it up. And then what Tammy does is she gets a big bowl in case this leaks, she puts a bowl underneath it and she holds it in a bowl. And that's a great tip. So think about it when you put it in the fridge to just marinate overnight, that you put it in a bowl in case anything goes bad while you're asleep, all right? So we're gonna put these in a bowl right now. These will be marinating for about 24 hours. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we got the briskets on the smoker. So now we're gonna be plugging this device in. It's a TE Rich or Tay Rich food thermometer. It's a smart wireless barbecue thermometer. We're gonna test it out today. It's got the uh, Apple Store or Google Play app that will warn you when your meat's ready. So let's open up, see if it has power. So we can use it this morning. If not, this ain't gonna, well, there is no if not. So let's open up this morning and see uh, see what it looks like. As you guys know, my ink bird died and I burnt my last pulled pork because it did die and stopped telling me what the temperature was. That wasn't a good thing. But look at this case, nice little zip up case. This is one of the nicer thermometers that have been sent to the show. Look at this, I got two probes. And I got the device in the middle. It looks like it takes batteries, so we should be okay. I just dig on this little carry case. So cool. And there you go. That's an up close look at it. Okay, so let's discuss the final setup. So I got one good probe right here. That's in the smaller piece. And then a thicker piece is plugged into the probe on the pit boss. I'm going to probably start using that from now on. That shows that probe number one is at 98. So the bigger one's at 98, the smaller one's at 118. We've got pineapple juice in the water pan. All right, so the meat's reached 165 degrees. It's time to wrap it in foil. But before I do that, I put a little bit of that pineapple mixture in there so that it will just totally make this wet and tender. I don't know what it is with my luck and Bluetooth thermometers, but that one just died. It completely stopped reading. It started showing me 500 degrees. Then it went back to 153, where it was, the me, and then it just died. So I had to go get my thermopen to check the temperature and put in another thermometer. So here is the small one. So I cooked it to 165, just like the big one. They both got wrapped at 165. I put a little more pineapple juice in the foil with the finishing of the cooking. Took it all the way to 200, then put in a cooler and wrapped it in this towel. That's how it says to do it in the instructions, and that's supposed to be the best way to do it. So let's take a look and see how it turned out. You're going to see drippiness all over the place. This towel is soaked. There you go, look at that. Got your smoke ring here, you got good, well cooked. Wow, that's beautiful. 
All right, so let's give that a try and see how it came out. See if it worked. See if it's really moist. It rested for over an hour, about almost two hours. So we're going to cut into it and try it out. All right, guys. So there you go. The outside's cooked wonderful. It's smoked. It's got a smoke ring. It's perfectly cooked about, I would say that's medium. It's exactly how Tammy likes it. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful brisket. Let's try it out. I forgot I put pineapple in it. And I tasted it as I chewed more into the meat. Pineapple came out, but the pepper, the chipotle pepper, didn't work. But it's got a nice sweetness. I wanted sweet heat. So you probably got to put in more pepper or a different red pepper flakes or something. And then inject your meat and cook it. But this came out flawlessly. It's moist. It's tender. It's perfectly cooked. It's got a smoke ring. It went perfect. That's how I like it. All right, you guys, cook yourself a brisket and let me know how it goes, okay? I'll see you in the next episode.